Hello again. I'm back with a new book. Um, before I start the flip through, I just wanted to say um, thank you to the new subscribers that I've recently got. A few have popped over from Denise and Tina's channels who've recently done books, um, videos of books of mine. So thank you very much for those videos. And um, thank you to the people that have popped across to my channel from that. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, so this new book, again, another thank you, is um, to Andrea at Artie Mays. She asked if I'd like to do a guest design team project. So this is what I came up with. And um, it's using the Nature Walk kit, which is just gorgeous. It's blues and I just love... If anybody's looked at my other stuff, I do tend to love working with blues. Um, so here we go. I'll just get on with the book. So I've got lots of bits on the pages and lots of dangly bits in this one. And it's got a fabric cover as well and spine. It was a bit of a happy accident with the spine. I was meant to sew the spine on before I did the signatures. But I forgot so I ended up doing it a different way and I actually really liked the way it turned out. Um, I recently did a tutorial with Nellie Wartman and this is sort of she does lots of sort of layers on her front covers and things so I've, I've tried that with this book as well. Um, so we've got this little top layer which was part of a book um, with it was a mushrooms and toadstools book so it's got this lovely image on the inside. Um, that I just did some layering on the front of. Um, but it's also got another front cover. This is all fabric and slow stitched through it. And then we've got another cover of the book itself, which is an old book I've used as the cover. Um, and the kit is under the ear, but just lots of layers bringing it up. So the inside cover is slow stitched as well. Um, and then the signatures are sewn into that and then that's put down. So the mushroom book I used for this cover, there's images from this throughout the book as well. Really, the whole thing is the kit except for some of the mushrooms and I used a napkin to decoupage uh, throughout as well. But most of the images are from the kit. Um, so I've got some bits hanging off as well. So this is napkin that's been decoupaged on. And some of the pages have spine bits of fabric. So we pocket here. There is an Artie Mays journaling kit under there. <laughs> I love the blue mushrooms that were in the book. I mean, there was only two of them. Um, but I love how they turned out with it. So this is part of the kit. So there's a couple of pages in each. There's three signatures in each signature. There's a page from the, the book as well. Which was nice is that whoever had this book obviously did go looking for the mushrooms because there's wee notes and these wee ticks are for somebody obviously that went looking for these types of mushrooms. We've got a wee pocket here with a journaling card. And another one here. And there's lots of sort of wee bits again with beads um, throughout as well. And I had this ribbon, sort of it's like a lace ribbon and the colours were just perfect. So this is from the kit which I've just left as a wee um, journaling card. I've used rusted paper clips for this one, just uh, vintage buttons. I love this, I think it's probably one of my favourite pages, just love this colour. So this is how this the this outside cover, it is glued 
in here, but it, the eyelets go all the way through and the seam binding goes all the way through, so it, it's really pretty between the signatures. It was a bit of a happy accident, but I love how it worked. So we've got an envelope here, um, which I haven't actually closed, so you could actually write on it. It's got a wee card in it, so it can be glued shut if, if whoever gets this book wants to. I've got another wee kit, another wee um, pocket here. I've forgotten to put, I will put a bit of lace on there. I use washi tape down the spine of the pages from the book just to give them a little bit more strength. there. I love these new stamps. These are um, Tim Holtz and they're just lovely. Fragments, I think the, uh, the stamps are called. And we've got another um, image from the kit. Again, I've just tied on here with a vintage button and uh, a rusted um, paper cup. where the seam binding's coming through from the outer cover. So this is uh, another vintage button. It's actually glass, I think, um, but it changes colour how you tip it to the light. It's really pretty. So again, this is one of the wee envelopes. I've left it open. Again, it can be glued shut. And I've just sort of sewn some bits on it. Again, there's little bits of writing on the pages. Again, this is from the kit with a vintage button. There's plenty of room to journal in this one. I do like to leave plenty of journaling space. So we've got a pocket here. Um, a journaling card and again another pocket uh, envelope sorry and there's a pocket in there I will put something in that and that's the back and the fabric cover goes all the way around so this is the back of the book um, which I've layered up and then this fabric one goes over the top so you can leave it just like that um, but I did I will include the wee binder clips to hold that uh, closed as well so this is all this is um, I think there's three layers there's a vintage tea tree um, doily then some denim and then another doily on top with some buttons. So I've sewn them all together. So there's two, there's the seam binding and the eyelets. So this is all slow stitched as well. Thank you very much for watching.